Good morning, good morning. Okay, so it's a new week. I am now going into my 24th week post show, which is crazy. I'm getting closer to being about the same amount of weeks that I was in prep. Um, I was in prep for 33, 32, 33 weeks. So yeah, uh, 24 weeks now, or going into 24 weeks post show. So I had my little diet break over the weekend. If you watch my last YouTube, you'll see all the good eats and fun things that we did in New Orleans. You know, this is the first time that I truly did not track for three straight days, didn't weigh myself. You know, I went to Mexico and I was still kind of like eating like just mostly protein and having like a dessert at night and like I was weighing myself every day. I was working out on that trip. Like I did I did like a small little shoulder dumbbell lift on Saturday morning, but nothing too crazy. Um, but see, here's the thing. Like when you're on vacation, you know, people always get like nervous and all, but like if you're active on your vacation, like we were, I mean, we were walking 25 to 26,000 steps a day. You know, it's like you can eat a little bit more. So, and I wasn't being like a complete asshole. I mean, I was eating whatever I wanted, but I wasn't like just stuffing myself. You know, I never, this is one thing I gotta say, I never had any digestive issues the whole trip. My stomach never got bloated. I never felt sick because, you know, I ate things for one that I know my body's okay with. Two, I didn't overeat, you know? Um, but it was so good. But anyway, so like this morning I got up and I weighed myself and that was another thing. I did not weigh myself since last Thursday. I think that's the longest time I did that. Like usually when I get home from a trip, I'll weigh myself the next day or next morning when I wake up or that night. And I didn't, I was like, I want to do one day on my diet and just see where I'm at. Y'all, I'm literally 2.4 pounds less than I was last Tuesday, but I'm the same weight as when I left on the trip. But like, this is actually my lowest weight in two weeks. I'm 112.0, which is less than I was at the Tampa Pro Show last year. And it's not something to really brag about because I want to gain weight. But the fact that I'm trying to prove here is when you go on vacation and you're stress-free, number one is stress. Oh my gosh. Like I was just living in the moment. That's probably the least amount of stress I've had. And I don't know how long stress is such a thing that will get your weight up. I try to explain this to my clients all the time. Like you got it. You can't stress. You can't stress. So like stress-free, very active and yeah so it was a very good time successful good for my mindset good for my body good for everything you know diet breaks are really good um when they're necessary so yeah good time now i'm back to it i've been training shoulders a little bit more now i know i haven't updated you guys on my shoulder lately it still gives me a lot of freaking pain um but i'm trying to just kind of work around it because my orthopedic said I'm not going to make it worse. He's like, if you want to still train it, you can. You're just going to have pain. So I've been like increasing my weights again because I really need to build shoulders. Um, so yeah, I, I'm up to 30 pound dumbbells now, but I'm doing four sets of 12. So I'm going to go to 35s next time. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting my weight back up. My max ever on dumbbell shoulder press is 45s. So I'm, I'm getting back up there. You guys, for the longest time, I was only doing like 10 to 15 pound dumbbells. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so good in the gym right now. I can't even explain it. My leg days are just freaking killer. I, yesterday I hit another PR on the hip thrust. I'm just, I'm enjoying it, you know, and it's, it's just been a really good time. So yeah, this weekend is the Clash Girl Power Show. I'll be doing photo shoots all day. So it'll be a really busy weekend. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of my friends and a lot of competitors that I know. So it's going to be a good time. You know, the thing about these shows though is like so many people are there that you want to see and hang out with, but you really can't because it's so busy and so hectic and especially doing photos. Like I'll get to say hi to people, but I really won't get to like hang out with anyone. Um, so I hate that part of it, but I'm excited. My friend Zoe is coming to town. I don't even know when was the last time Zoe and I seen each other, but we've become friends um, through like competing Instagram, whatever. But I love Zoe. She's super cool. Like we both are obsessed with sushi and delights like we, we like a lot of the same things um so i'm excited to see her i'm hoping i do get to spend a little bit of time with zoe because i haven't seen her in so long but yeah i mean my friend allegra is competing she hasn't competed in a little while she's looking amazing i can't wait to see her on stage um some of my fit body fusion friends will all be there uh you know lauren's gonna be there joey's gonna be there doing the cookies and makeup and I'm, the 
list goes on, honestly. Like, everyone's coming to the show. But I'm excited. I'm excited for this weekend. And, yeah, it's going to be a good time. I'll try to YouTube more if I can at the show. It's just hard when I'm shooting with my camera. But I'll try to get some stuff for you guys. But overall, things are looking good. I'm still on schedule to compete in October. That's the plan. Um, so we'll see. Uh, the way I'm looking right now, my check-ins, I really see the difference in my glutes. I'm kind of keeping a leaner uh, physique right now. So prep won't be as crazy hard as last time. And um, I'm, I feel like I'm, make, I mean, I'm making gains. I'm progressively overloading, getting stronger every week. My energy is up, so I'm in a good spot right now, and I'm really happy about it. So, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? So, this week has been crazy busy, of course, like always. Um, yesterday, I got my hair done. I got my extensions moved up. I got a little bit of blonde highlights. I usually only get highlights like once a year, but my hair was looking really like, um, I call it brassy on the top. So, I got just a little bit of highlights just right here on the top. And then I just got my nails done, okay? And this is so weird to me. This is literally the shortest my nails have been in like two years. So I told them I didn't want any tips. I wanted, okay, so my real nails had grown out and they looked beautiful and they were a nice length. And then uh, the time before last when I went, the lady, right before I could say anything, just cut them all off. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Like, I did not want my nails cut. And I feel like it was a money scheme because then she just had to put tips on and then you get charged for every tip. So I'm like, oh yeah, she did that on purpose. So I've been trying to let my real nails grow out. So this is all my real nails now, but like some are shorter than others and it looks really weird. And the guy was like, oh, they're not even. I said, I don't care. Like I want my real nails. I don't want any more tips because every time I have the tips, they break all the time and it hurts so bad. Um, and it just ruins your real nails. So these are my real nails, super short, super weird. I feel like an alien or something, I don't know. So yeah, so I had Monday, a photo shoot after seeing patients, Tuesday, hair appointment after seeing patients, today, nails after seeing patients, tomorrow at 9 a.m. I have to have an ultrasound on my kidneys. Um, I don't know if I update you guys on that, but my kidney function has been kind of weird. Um, my numbers so my doctor ordered an ultrasound just to check and make sure everything is okay she was like oh you're dehydrated i'm like there's no way i'm dehydrated I drink a gallon of water a day but this number um my creatine and bun keeps coming low but it's been like that since 2013 i try to tell her that like ever since i've had my low platelets those numbers have always been low and no one's ever checked my kidneys my little brother has was born with one kidney. Um, I don't think that's related, but it could be. I don't know. So anyways, I'm getting an ultrasound of my kidneys um, tomorrow. Then I have to go see a patient. And then I have my Botox and fillers. I haven't had lip fillers since April of last year. So it's been a year. And they just completely have dissolved just from being lean and competing. And this is like the smallest my upper lip has been since like before I ever got fillers in 2018. So yeah, so I'm getting fillers. And then what stinks is like, I can't train for 24 hours and Friday is my leg day normally. I can't go to Tampa again because I have photo shoots Friday in Orlando and then we have the girl power show. So two weeks in a row, I'm not gonna be able to train in Tampa and I'm so sad because I love my Friday routine of training in Tampa and getting the lights. And I've really been progressively increasing my weight each week at the pendulum squat machine and hip thrusting with Lauren. So that kind of stinks, but I can't train anyway because I'm getting Botox, my lips done, and you're supposed to wait 24 hours. I haven't in the past, but the fact that my Botox and my lips have dissolved so quickly with being lean and stuff, I'm not gonna take any chances with training, especially a heavy leg day. So I'm gonna wait. It's probably gonna be Sunday because Saturday we have the clash and I have, or the girl power clash, whatever it is. And I have photo shoots booked all day long. So there's no way I'm training Saturday. So I, I'm gonna go two days without training. That's okay. Last weekend I went three days in a row without training, um, but I'm feeling so good about my lifts. I had a great lift today at the gym. I hit another new PR with the hack squat machine at my gym. So now I'm up to 260 pounds and I'm just like, whoa, this is so awesome. I'm feeling like getting my strength back. Yesterday I was able to shoulder press um, four sets of 12 with the 30s. And if you guys know my shoulder injury and stuff, 
that I haven't been pushing up more than 10 to 15 pounds in like since September. So this is huge. Like I'm feeling my strength back. I'm feeling good. And I'm just excited. I feel like things are going really good. I really, really like my check-in pictures this week. Um, what's funny is I had a coach um, reach out to me and I'm sure they were just trying to get a client, but he was like, yo, who's your coach? He's like, you have such good structure and such great shape. And um, I was like, actually I coach myself. And he's like, oh, well, if you're looking for a coach, you know, I'd love to bring you on. I'm like, nah, no, thanks. I appreciate it. But I'm going to keep doing me because I love what I'm doing. I feel like I have nailed this reverse um, and everything's just going so good. Like I'm just, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I've got my strength back. You guys know for a long time I didn't have my strength. So yeah, everything's going good. Busy week, busy things going on, but I'm so excited because my photography is kicking off and I got some exciting things planned. I'm actually, I went and got my hair done yesterday. I was talking to my hair girl and she's working at a new salon now and they're having their like grand opening May the 11th. And now the salon owner messaged me today and they're hiring me to do the photos of their grand opening and stuff. And she said, there's gonna be a lot of vendors there. So I possibly could, you know, get some other leads um, because I wanna do more than just fitness. I love doing the fitness thing. I love gym. The gym photo shoots are my thing. Like I feel like that's my favorite, but I wanna like, branch out and do other stuff too. So yeah, got some other things in the works. I'm actually gonna be doing some graduation pictures on Monday. Um, so yeah, and I've, I've got some really cool things going on. I'm super excited about it. And I'm just feeling really happy. You know, I've worked a lot this week. I've been working a lot all the time, but I'm feeling blessed. I had a good recharge going on my vacation. And I'm just in a great mood and I'm feeling very blessed and thankful and happy with where I'm at right now and what I have going on. Nick and I just booked our next trip to the Keys, June, the beginning of June. So I'm excited to have another trip to look forward to. And yes, just all good things. Okay, this is what it looks like prepping my food for the day. Walk out in the Florida humidity for five seconds and my hair looks frizzy. You guys, I'm fired up. I'm headed to work and I'm freaking happy about it. I'm going to do photo shoots today. I'm headed to the Iron Religion Gym right now. I'm shooting Sophia and then Jessica. And um, a few of my friends are already there training right now. So I'm excited to go see them all. It's a freaking clash weekend, show weekend again. I'm so excited for it. This morning while I was doing my cardio, I watched my last U my YouTube for my last show day and I just was all in my feels and I was like, man, I freaking love show days. So I'm about to be working like crazy, honestly. It's gonna be a crazy day tomorrow, slam. I'm excited. Tonight I'll be at check-ins, taking check-in photos. Um, so let's go. Let's do it. I'm feeling great. It's just, it's exciting. It's, it's very rewarding. This is something I love to do. Sorry, I don't want to run off the road here. I shouldn't ever be doing this while I'm driving. But that's why I'm looking at the road right now. I'm going on a big ramp. But, ah, I'm just so happy, you guys. Ah, uh, this is what I love about this too, is like, I'm almost just as excited as I am on show day. I think show day I'm a little more excited when I'm competing, but it's still just as exciting. And I'm getting to like see people in their moment and how I know how it feels. And it's like, it's I'm excited for them. I have so much excitement for other people. Like genuinely, I do. Uh, this is the girl power show. So it's an all girl show. And like so many people are coming for it and doing it. I'm I'm almost feeling like I did at the Olympia. like. I almost get kind of overwhelmed because so many people are like going to be there and want to talk to me and I want to talk to everyone, but I am going to be working. So I won't like the last class. I didn't get to talk to people as much as I wanted to because I was working, but I'm hoping I get to talk to more people. Um, but we'll see. I'm just excited to see everyone. It's going to be a great weekend. <laughs> Got it. Okay, we're 
Oh my gosh, you guys, this is sushi heaven. <laughs> wow. Okay, so racetrack was closed until 5 a.m. I came to Swirl World. I was going to get a frozen yogurt and they closed. So I'm going to go next door to 7 Eleven. Nick is mad at me because. He said I should just go home, and I probably should. But I haven't even had a cheat meal this week. I said I wasn't going to have any until my birthday, but that's kind of dumb because my weight is, like, low again. So why not? So I'm going to see what's in 7-Eleven. But honestly, I'm thinking about just getting a yogurt with some cereal. That's, like, my jam lately. So we'll see if they have a yogurt in here. Got one of those bad boys. Hey guys, what's up? So wrap up from the crazy weekend, um, you know, busy with the clash and doing photo shoots. Um, so I ended up not shooting backstage um, for the show. Um, they just had a bunch of other photographers and stuff there. So I just focused on my uh, venue shoots, which was amazing. It went so good. I ended up doing, I think eight, yeah, eight. And I just, I had them scheduled perfectly. It turned out so amazing. I met some incredible people. Um, that's what's fun about the shows, you know, just meeting new people. And I, I just met some of the nicest people, had some of the best conversations. Um, I hung out with Joey and Michael at their cookie booth um, during the show. And you know, it's really funny is, um, I was going back, a lot of people thought it was my cookie company and I kept saying, no, this isn't my cookie company, it's my friends, I'm just hanging out. And then they were like up in their room or something and someone asked me, could they buy the cookies? And it was like four o'clock and they were starting to open for finals. So I went and like sat down there and I just opened up their booth and was selling cookies for them. And then Michael comes down there and I'm like, look, this shows how good of a friend I am. Like I have my own cookie company and I'm sitting here selling cookies for you guys. <laughs> um, but you know, they're my good friends and I just wanted to help them out. And the real truth was, I, t I was joking with Michael, I was like, I really wanna get these cookies sold so we can go to sushi because we had plans to go to, to sushi for dinner, but we weren't gonna go until they sold most of their cookies. So I was like, I'm trying to get these cookies sold so we can go to dinner. But um, yeah, so we went and had sushi. My friend Zoe was in town. I haven't seen her in a while. I freaking love Zoe. If you're watching this, I love you. And I'm so glad I got to spend time with you. We had so much fun. Me, her, and Joey literally laughed so hard. It's the most I've laughed in I don't know how long. Like, we just laughed our butts off. Like, the people at the restaurant probably thought we were crazy. But it was a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, you know, it was a good week. And back on track from vacation and everything. I was right on track. Everything was good. And it was a pretty good week. And now we're on to a new week. Um, you know, just the same old thing, seeing patients and photo shoots. And I'm actually gonna do a cookie launch next week. So I'll be busy with that. I'll be pretty busy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm lifting heavier in the gym. I f I'm gaining some weight. Um, I'm staying between eight to 10 pounds above stage weight now. Um, and I like the way I look right now, you know, like I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling out, I'm looking more muscular, I'm feeling stronger. So my lips are going really good. I'm still shooting to, uh, compete in the fall. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for following. I appreciate you guys so much. Comment below if there's anything in particular you want to see. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for following me. It really means a lot.